Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Enjoy you, f***ing Noel. Cherub, have you been naughty or nice? You know as well as I do, old man. You were there all those years ago. I was watching, peeking out from under the covers, staring in disbelief as my own mother approached you with that come-hither look on her face. I saw the hunger in her eyes as her body melted into yours as though she'd been waiting forever for your loving caress. That's right. I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. And when Daddy turned up the next day dead, the victim of a mysterious reindeer attack, I knew the truth. You only know half the truth, Cherub. I am your father. No! <laughs> We've got to stop him. Stop him from delivering my Barbie dream Corvette? I don't think so. Eep. Cherub, I only come to make amends. I know how much you must hate me, but your mother made me promise I'd always look out for you. And I forgot all about that promise until just the other day when I accidentally uncovered her corpse, which I'd stashed in the ice box for no apparent reason. Cherub, she wanted me to look out for you. And I admit, I forgot all about you after you became a vampire and got moved to the permanently naughty list. I suppose no one changed my records once you got those bunny slippers. And it seems I owe you quite a few presents. What kind of presents? Would a hundred cases of top shelf gin be appealing? Would it? Aw, oh, thanks Santa Claus! You're the best! Have a f***ing happy holiday. That's the night I realized that having cursed bunny slippers really isn't a curse at all. It's a blessing. Let me rephrase that. Of course it's a curse, because God knows I could really use some good loafers right about now, or something in leather. Anyway, the point is that meeting my father after all these years made me realize what's truly important in this life, and that's top shelf gin. I'm talking about the good stuff. The stuff that can only be made by magical elves in their secret factory in the North Pole. You put that stuff in a drink and you're like, wow, an elf was here. Which, for some people, is a little gross, because, as we know, the little people are weird. But I think if we can get past our prejudice, we can realize that weird can actually taste pretty good. Well, with the right mixers. Anyway, I wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And if I don't see you again, well, whatever.